Robin Hood Radio presents the commentary of Don Morrison. Don is a former editor at Time Magazine. He's an author, lecturer, and member of the Berkshire Eagle Advisory Board. It was the week before Christmas, and all through the town, my new bride and I searched for an affordable tree without success. I thought we didn't need one. We had no money. We'd be leaving town to spend the holidays with her family. And our tiny apartment didn't have room for a proper Christmas tree. She disagreed. We had our first fight. Two days before our departure, I wandered the streets in despair. I was a stubborn, penny-pinching failure as a husband. Then I spotted it. A big, fat double balsam, tall as a reindeer, green as a hundred-dollar bill. And the price? Zero. My discovery was in a dumpster, discarded by some rich neighbor who'd probably left early for Aspen or Cancun. So I dragged home our first Christmas tree. Best one ever, my wife said, until I told her where it came from. We had our second fight. From that year forward, I spent small fortunes on first-class trees, direct from Maine, and perfect. They'd barely fit through the door, need tons of lights and ornaments. But each one, we'd agree, was the best tree ever. After a few weeks, I'd heave the desiccated carcass into the trash and think, is this really what Christmas is about? My arboreal anxiety returned the other day when I learned that some troubled homeless guy in New York City had burned down the Fox News Christmas tree. The network touted that incident endlessly, blaming it on liberals, woke elites, critical race theory. Is that what Christmas is about? But then I realized... Yes, the American tradition of overpriced, quickly discarded yuletide evergreens probably is. They're the focus of our holiday gatherings. They witness our reunions and our generosity, as well as our orgies of consumerism and drinking. And then, a few days later, they die for our sins. My wife and I are not poor anymore. We usually have wonderful, multiple Christmas trees. But this year, I didn't see the point. The kids and grandkids are elsewhere, and we're about to head south for the winter. My wife disagreed. I could feel the old argument coming on. But then she disappeared into the garden, returned with a two-foot-high rosemary bush, dirt still on the roots. We decorated it, giggling like newlyweds. Best tree ever. I'm Don Morrison. Don Morrison is an author and editor. He's taught at universities in the United States, Europe, and Asia. He's the European editor of the British magazine Port and a member of the Berkshire Eagle Advisory Board. He lives in Paris, Miami, and in Berkshire County. <laughs>